Hey everyone, welcome back to Fly with Shubham and today we'll be talking about unusual attitudes and recovery. So what are unusual attitudes? They are basically any maneuvers which are not required for normal operation or an attitude of the aircraft which occurs unintentionally which may be due spatial disorientation or other factors. Now there are some conditions in which unusual attitudes can occur. Those are bad weather, fog, clouding or night flying. Mostly it is related to turbulence or poor visibility. Unusual attitudes are generally classified in two ways, nose up or nose down. Now the first step is to recognize the unusual attitude. Let's take the nose up recognition. The first is the airspeed indicator ASI which shows a decreasing speed. Vertical speed indicator or the VSI which shows a positive rate of climb. Altimeter which shows increasing altitude and artificial horizon which shows a pitch up attitude. In a nose down recognition, the ASI will show increasing speed, VSI will show a rate of descent, altimeter will show decreasing altitude and artificial horizon shows a pitch down attitude. For better understanding of the same, you can look at this picture and on the left you can see the airspeed indicator showing a decrease and on the right hand side you can see the altimeter and the VSI both showing an increase. In the center you can see the artificial horizon which shows a nose up attitude. In this nose down attitude, you can see that the ASI on the left hand side it shows an increase whereas the altimeter and the VSI show a decrease on the right hand side. The artificial horizon in the center shows the nose down attitude. Now that you've recognized the unusual attitude, you should know what are the consequences of that particular unusual attitude. Let's take the nose up unusual attitude. A nose up unusual attitude can cause a wing drop which might be followed by a spin if it goes into severe action or a stall and the nose down unusual attitude might cause a spiral or a dive. If we take an example, we see that the aircraft is climbing and banking towards the right so decreasing airspeed might cause the aircraft to stall or a wing drop might occur towards the right which might be followed by a spin. Recovery from an unusual attitude must be done in a proper procedure. If a proper procedure is not followed, then the aircraft can go into a worse situation than before. Let's take up the nose up attitude recovery. The first step is to increase the power to prevent stall due to low speeds and to counter the g-forces. It will help prevent the stall or a wing drop. The next step is to pitch down to bring the nose down. The third step would be to apply aileron and rudder control to bring the aircraft to straighten level if it is banking to any side. Let's take the nose down attitude recovery. The first step is to decrease the power to prevent spiral or additional g-forces which can cause overspeeding of the aircraft or cause it to go into a dive. The next step is to apply aileron and rudder to stop the bank. The third step and the last step for nose down recovery would be to pitch up to bring the nose up to straighten level. Now in the nose down attitude recovery we followed the aileron and rudder first to prevent the aircraft from going into a spiral or a dive. This also helps to prevent the additional g-forces. That's all there is to unusual attitudes and recovery. Make sure you recognize the unusual attitude first, then apply the correct recovery procedures to bring your aircraft back to straighten level. 